we got interested in Meredith Nicholson because mm -hmm. my family, my dad and his family are from Culver, Indiana. And we were going up there and we discovered the House of a Thousand Candles, the actual house. And we were so interested in it, so we looked for quite some time until we found the book. And we found it in an antique store. And we bought that one. I read it. I don't know if you read it. I read it. Okay, mm -hmm. he read that one. Then we started collecting the Nicholson books. We found out there were only a few, and we thought, well, we'll just buy all these books, which we did. I read every one of them and can't remember a lot of the plots. I think there's 29. But they are very interesting. Mm -hmm. They're in the same genre as Gene Stratton Porter. You've read all 29. Mm -hmm. Yes. Every time we get one, I read it, and then I put it on the shelf. Um, we even found a what they call a photo playbook of House of a Thousand Candles, and it was made into a movie. And there are shots from the movie in the book. I don't know who the actors and actresses were. Nobody we know today. But it was very interesting to have that. Uh, books we collected uh, down in uh, was it Fountain, no, Fountain Square. Fountain Square. Fountain Square. Mm -hmm. I got think I picked box. up eleven or twelve of them there. Mm -hmm. And then we have a good friend in Culver, Ruth Mackey, who owns the Bear End, and she has books. I think that's where we got the first right, House of a Thousand one. Candles. Mm -hmm. And we just continued to collect anything we can find about him. Uh, some of his books are very good, some are not. <laughs> I guess it's just what you like. We have checks uh, that he wrote to his uh, secretary. I believe her last name is Watson. And uh, we've collected some... Uh, speeches he gave. Uh, we have autographed uh, copies of books. And um, we did find one in Williamsburg, Virginia, believe it or not. Uh, Nicholson is not known well out of Indiana, so a book that you would pay $25, $30 for here, we got for $2. So we found the first book, and then once I read it and we found it, we decided, well, let's just buy everything he wrote. <laughs> It took us quite a quite a long time because it, when it you did. got back some, some of the were, older ones, some were quite hard to, to find. We, uh, we would search antique stores. In fact, the photo mm -hmm. playbook came from an antique store in Knightstown, mm -hmm. Indiana. Wow! And we tried to stop there last summer to look for something else, and it's gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's been that long ago mm -hmm. that a lot of antique but stores have closed shop. Between Mackey and probably the one in uh, Fountain Square, that's where we got most of our books. Mm -hmm. and, uh, just keep keep looking. This Irish house is really what I expected it to be like because it is north of the, the circle. It's up here where the what is it called the historic old north side mm -hmm. something like that. And really, and I've been past it many many times, but I had no idea you could come in it and look around or have a tour. And then we saw this advertised, and we just had to come. Home.